It is November 6th, 2016, 10.06 a.m. And today, I would say, if you talk to somebody that you go, ooh, I'd like to talk to that somebody so good, ooh. And they say, And you wish they said more, but they didn't. And you say, oh, I wish they said more, but they didn't. Then you say, oh, but I wish they said more, but they didn't. And you say, oh, but I wish they said more, but they won't. you can do is say something different from all. Maybe say all, but definitely, definitely, definitely not all. What's the point of that? So, on this day, I said hello to somebody I've been wanting to say hello to for quite some time. And, um, probably the most satisfied I have ever been with somebody turning me down. Oh, yeah. The most satisfied I have ever been with somebody turning me down. Oh. Oh, yes. Woo! I loved it. Of course, I was all nerves and giggles and smiles and shakes. Had that adrenaline going. Maybe even a little bit of the low blood pressure and the quickened heart pace, maybe making it a little more difficult to be exactly the way I wish I could be, maybe. But you know what? That didn't matter anyway. And I didn't think it would. Because all these people that I talk to, I seem to have this habit of putting on an act. And I don't try to most of the time. But I love to put on an act. So, is that me, that person, putting on that act? Isn't that who I truly am? I want to put on an act. I want to put on a show. And this lady, and I will respect this lady. I will. I will respect anybody. I will. I will respect you. If I make fun of you, it is only for fun. And if it is, if you believe that it is at you, it's not. Truly, if I were to make fun of you, it would be at the idea of making fun at you. Making fun of the idea of making fun at you. Hmm. Why don't people talk about things like that? Why don't you consider, maybe you do, but I know the people that I'm thinking of right now, they don't consider these amazing, illustrious ideas that I do and maybe that's, maybe that's because
I don't even want to go there. Today, I laid in the flooring, a floating floor, fake wood <gasps> made of particles of wood and glue. By the end of the day, my back was sore. Ooh! Sore, buddy. And, uh, but I helped people out. Yes, I did. And I am grateful and I am glad. I'm very glad about that. I am delighted. So. I had a good time today. Oh, yes, I did. What else happened today? What are my expectations of this day? November 6th, 2016, 10.06 a.m. What are my expectations? Well, I'd like to write a little bit of some story. I'd like to get a little bit of some sleep. But that didn't happen. So I wrote a little bit of some story instead. Because I couldn't get any little bit of that sleep that I really wanted to get. Um, but, uh, and I, I will tell you this. <laughs> Do not take an Epsom salt bath for more than 30 minutes. More than twice a week. No, don't do that. I scared myself silly thinking <gasps> there's something wrong with me because my heart had been beating fast and I felt weak. Low blood pressure. A quickened pace of the heart it takes to scare me. And no matter how much water I drank, I could not get hydrated. Hmm. Very interesting, don't you think? Well, I want to tell you this little piece of the story. I was taking Epsom salt baths twice a day, laying in that bath. Anywhere from between one hour to two hours, twice a day, and uh, this happened to me once before, quite a while back, and I thought, oh my great glory, goodness, great grand, grand ultimate, whoa, and I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, what did he say? People have episodes like this lots of times. And it's okay to have episodes like this because he's human. And I said, What's a here, man? And he said, It's a here, man. That do things to make their heart be fast. Like I don't be drinking the coffee, I don't be drinking the alcohol. Now I can dehydrate it. Make him worry he can't suck up the water. And, uh, something nobody told me that I'm gonna tell you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna drink the booze, drink plenty of water. And by the way, I would like you to know that plenty of water does not mean Two bottles of water a day. No, 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 no. I wouldn't even say that it means ten bottles of water a day. No, I think what it means is... Maybe ten glasses of water a day. Maybe. Because you don't want none of that plastic 
stuff in your body. Because your body is a temple. Oh, please spare me the bull stiff. I don't like hearing none of this. I don't like that phrase either. Bull stuff. <sighs> Your body is a highly advanced. Oh, come on now. It ain't advanced. This is basic. I learned how to do this back when I was born. I learned how to do this when I was fighting all them other peoples trying to get to my mama's egg. Well, your body is a complex creature. And I just want you to know this. Okay, how do you make a car work? Besides all the mechanical pieces that fit together and oil that makes it run so smooth. A car runs because you put gas in it. Yes, I know they have electric cars. I would love to have one. If you want to give me one, let me know. A car runs. A gasoline car runs because you put the gasolines in it. The gasoline is then ignited and causes pressure and gases and heat which most of the heat is not used in an effective manner and this drives the vehicle now what do we do every day we eat gas and then it is ignited and it causes gas and then we do things most people on this planet have such an immaculate device that they walk around with this device that houses their soul or spirit or whatever consciousness, your ability to see things and recognize shapes and sound and color, textures and feelings and sensations. This creature, this being that houses you, that made you, walks you around And now I want you to think about this. How does a vegetarian animal stay alive? I think you're going to have to figure that one out because I, I don't have the clues. I also don't have the internet. So you're going you're gonna to have to be on your own with that one. How does a vegetarian animal stay alive? I'm not sure I know. And I'm not going to give the answer away because this is, this is the quiz. This is the test. This is the final exam. And if you fail this, oh boy, you're in some deep trouble. So, now what happens to a machine when you just pour a bunch of dirt into the gears? It keeps going, don't it? Oh yeah, it does. It keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. It keeps going until it doesn't want to keep going no more. Because it's got so much dirt in the gears that finally it says, <coughs> I can't go on any longer. And it dies. And then it rots away into the ground. Never to be seen or heard of again 
So, you know, if I happened to have some nice little cheerings walking around, you know, that came from my shotgun down here, then, you know what, fuck life. I'd just rather eat a bunch of cholesterol and nasty stuff and horrible things that my body doesn't even need. I would just love to do that instead. And then, when my daughter is about to graduate high school, she has just met the most perfect man that she has ever met in her life. And I can feel that this guy, he's got the gusto. He has what it takes. And you know what I did? I said, you know what? Pass me that steak. I'm gonna chew it up. Come on, bring me that butter. I'm gonna slather it. I'm gonna suck it down. Bring me down. Egg yolks. I'm gonna eat them up. And then, I go to the hospital. And uh, the doctors, they, um, they have to fix me up because I just had my third heart attack within, you know, one week. And uh, they, go to cr they go to cutting on them crunchy arteries. All them sores. The walls all thick with plaque and nasty. I wanted this. I said, you know what? This is better than watching my daughter grow up. I love this. I love this. This is what I live for so that I can die painfully. This is what I live for. I did this on purpose. This is the path. This is the life I chose. I want to die painfully. So I chose to eat the most awful shit that I can possibly find and just shove it down my throat because you know what? All these companies, they say, hey, look at this. This stuff tastes fucking good. And I said, wow, you know what? I love stuff that tastes good. I also love stuff that shortens my life to where I don't get to enjoy my life anyway because I'm not getting the stuff that I really want in my body, making me feel all good. No, I don't want the fuel that my body needs. No, 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 no. I don't want that at all. Please, get that garbage away from me. I do not want to feel good. You can blow it out your ass. Shove it. Put it back in your own mouth if you like it so much. I don't like things that taste or feel good. So fuck you. <sighs> but actually what happened was... I never had no kids because I am working on my life right now as we speak. You know how I'm doing that? Do 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 you know how I'm doing that? How do I know I'm doing the right thing? Well, I don't really know, but I know I'm believing in myself, and I do know one thing in particular, the one thing I know more than I know anything else. If I ever expect to make a lady feel nice and warm and safe under my arm, maybe two ladies, I'm just playing, but maybe I'm not, because there's no reason to badmouth somebody people that can live in that way. The only way you can make them peoples feel safe is to believe in yourself. For me to believe in myself, to make these ladies feel good and safe and warm, that's the only way it's going to work. And if you can't do that, 